With Season 2 being out, not only does it come with many insane changes, but competitive ones as well. And console players are getting some good news this season. In this video, I'm going to give you every single detail and all the information you need about comp in Season 2 in just under 3 minutes. So let's get right into it, and if you find this video helpful, please consider subscribing, I appreciate it a lot. So first of all, here are all the cups that are going to be coming this season. Victory Cash Cups are going to stay and will also be available for Trio Zero Build. This is the exact same format as last season. Round 1 will take place on Saturday and Round 2 on Sunday. This tournament will probably be the best opportunities for people like you and me to make some earnings since you just have to win a game in the second round. So you qualify for the first round and then in the second round it doesn't matter how many kills you have, it just dependent on winning the game. You just have to win the game. Alright, PlayStation Cups. I got some good news for you on PlayStation. The qualifiers for these cups will take place on March 24 and on March 25. The top 50 players will move on to the finals on March 26 and compete for $230,000. And there's also going to be console cups. This console cup, it's not exclusively for PS players, but anyone on a console. So there will be two Champions Cup and the prize and the date is still unknown because this is just very early in the season. For you on console, PlayStation, Xbox. Start grinding because you guys have a lot of opportunities coming your way. Dual cash cups are also arriving, so it's not all solos. The first round takes place every Friday and the final on Saturdays, which means you can't really play both victory cash cups and the dual cash cup because they'll interfere, right? Saturday round one for the victory cash cup, uh, but then the finals for is on for the ca dual cash cup is on Saturday, so it will interfere unless there are different times, but I'm not sure. If you're a college or university student in Canada, United States, there's some good news for you as well. There will be Fortnite College Gate Cups with cash prizes and in-game rewards, but the date for each of these cups, if they are known, will be shown on the screen, and I'm showing them now. And you cannot just jump in these tournaments, you need to secure your spot, so go down to the link in the description. It should be like fn.gg slash scholistic registration, and sign up so you can compete in these tourneys. Moving on, we got FNCS Major 2. Now, this is going to be good. I'm going to try to explain this in the most simplest way possible. I have it up here. During the FNCS Major 2 event, there will be weekly competitions on Thursday and Friday. The scores from both days will be added up to determine the top 50 duels from each region who will advance to the weekly finals. After each weekly competition, every duo will receive series points based on their performance. The top 40 duos with the highest combined series points over the three weeks will qualify for the FNCS Major 2 Grand Finals, and this will begin on April 13. So week 1, April 13 to 16, week 2, April 20 to 23rd, and then week 3 will be April 27 to 30th. The prize pool for FNCS this year is $10 million, and the Champion Series Global Championship 2023, that's what it's called, will be located in Copenhagen, Denmark in late 2023. Now, we already had one major in Season 1, in Season 2 it will be the second major, and in Season 3 it will be the third major. All dates are posted on the screen. This is the season to grind, guys. I'm going to be going crazy with the content, so stay tuned for all of that. Also, please note that the old format for FNCS is completely gone. No more Divisional Cups, uh, Elite Cups, and how it was before. But you do need to be in Champions League Division to play the FNCS or have a chance at playing the FNCS. Finally, Arena. We've been wanting changes to it for so long. It's dry. It's dead. The lobbies die out faster than your teammates. So let's see what Epic has been cooking for us. Absolutely nothing. Arena is just as bad as how it was before. But your hype has been reset. Uh, so you can grind again. Right? Right? To qualify for cash cups, you only need to reach contender division. It's the same like it was two years ago. Kind of sad I had to end this video off in bad news, but at least we got all these new changes and Epic Games is doing a pretty good job, so we got to give it to them. That is everything you need to know about the new changes in comp. Please consider using my code CLUMSY if you're going to buy the battle pass. It helps me out way more than you think, and it doesn't take much effort. Thank you guys so much for watching. All links in my bio, and I'll see you all next time.